Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Thousand ones, empaths, tease narcissists that are involved in your life are wrestling. They got a feeling they cannot shake. Do you know how much of an impact it is when a chosen one and an empath is in the life of the narcissist? It's unbelievable the impact you have on them for the rest of their lives, right? For the rest of their lives. They just can't get you off their minds. And you see, the thing is, you know, even when the so-called good times with you and this narcissist involved in your life, right? They used to think about you a lot. You were on their minds, you know? They'll call your phone. They'll contact you on social media. They'll text you. You're on their minds, okay? You were on their minds a lot during the so-called good times, right? But you see what happens. You know when, you know, the chaotic situation happens, the narcissist starts to devalue you or, you know, smear you, cause some discord, right? And you go your separate ways. They think in their minds when they make these decisions that these decisions will relieve them of, you know, the the thought of you, right? But it only gets worse. I'm afraid, it's, I'm afraid to say it only gets worse for them. You know? They make things more complicated, right? They make things more complicated. They start using manipulation tactics. They start doing all this stuff, right? They could have discarded you, reverse discarded you, or you cut them off because they become too toxic. They try to change the narrative of the relationship, right? You saw the emerging of the true persona that they carry. You saw the real them, right? And their actions make the situation more complicated. And as a result of them making the situation more complicated for a myriad of ways, you know in your personal circumstance how they made it more complicated, right? Narcissists make things more complicated. Or at least you think, Hold on, this is getting complicated for no reason. Like, you, you're thinking it doesn't need to be this way. But they make it more complicated, right? And they're trying to relieve themselves of the force that they feel in their mind's heart and soul, right? Whatever's left of their mind, heart and soul, right? They try to relieve that so they might go for a discard, you know? They might do a reverse discard, you know? They they might become so toxic that you cut them off. They'll, they'll, they'll do something towards you that will initiate the separation, right? And from the separation, they're hoping that they're relieved of this weight that they carry with them. This occupation of their mind, heart and soul on you as a human being. But it doesn't go away, right? They just can't get you off their minds. They've got this feeling they just cannot shake, right? And they'll try busy themselves up. They'll start trying to put in their minds they're looking for someone new. They're going to find someone new. They'll, they'll start pursuing all of these avenues, right? And then that makes it worse too, right? They start pursuing these avenues, you know? They even get infatuated, not trying to trigger you any of you here now, right? (laughs) I'm not trying to trigger any of you, please. Understand, they actually get infatuated and they get a false sense of reality with these new supplies, right? So they'll, they'll feel okay, right? They'll feel better, right? Momentarily. But then something occurs in their mind. They see something in this new individual and they're like, oh, shit. You know, it's not the chosen one. It's not the empath. They don't have the light that you carry. And then they start thinking of you again, right? Obsessively ruminating about you, right? 
And they just don't know how to build the bridge because they've made it so confusing, right? They've made such a ridiculous situation out of what is meant to be a healthy relationship or at least what they were making it out to be. And now they're just stuck with the thought of the chosen one, the empath. Please press the like and the subscribe button. Help your brother out. It will take two seconds of your time. Just like this video shows up for you, help it show up for someone else and it may help them too. Thank you so much in advance. But look, they got this feeling they can't shake, right? They're trying and wrestling. They're trying to fight with it. They, 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 don't, they don't know why it's in their heads, right? They don't know why it's in their heads, you know? Because during the relationship, they took all of that for granted, what you gave them, right? Or they took it as they can get what they want. They can manipulate and get what they want. They can do this, that, the other and get what they want. You know, after losing a chosen one and an empath, you know, they know there's something out there, a higher force, a positive force. Because they know that for the, the, light, the light that you carry to exist in this world, there has to be something else out there. So they could be an agnostic, atheist, disbeliever, no spirituality at all. And they'll start to, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? They'll, they'll start to comprehend something else out there that's greater than themselves. You know, a higher force. A power. They'll start to comprehend this. You know. Someone who doesn't believe in anything. And there's nothing wrong with not believing in anything. But I'm just saying. This will trigger some sort of awakening in them. That. There's something out there. Or alternatively. If it's a spiritual narcissist you're dealing with. You know. Some of them exist in the church. Or the mosques. Or the synagogues. Or the temples. You know. They, they make out they're holier than now. But really, you know, they're, they're spiritual narcissists, right? And spiritual narcissists can occur even in not even in an organized religion, but in spirituality. So they can, they can claim they're very spiritual, right? But after they're getting this incredible, confusing... Diabolical mess occurring in their heads, right? Because they've lost the chosen one and the empath. Something which they chose to do, you know, discarding you, for example. Becoming so toxic, you cut them off, reverse discard. Or just becoming toxic in general that, that made you have enough, right? They confused the whole situation with their ways of being. Because their true selves come to the surface, right? They couldn't hold it back. They couldn't contain it, you know? And yeah, part of them during that time, you know, I'm not trying to trigger you, but during that time, they was, they was actually searching for that. They wanted some relief, right? They didn't want to have this confusing mindset where, they, where they're so preoccupied with the chosen one and the empath's existence, Right? They didn't want to be dependent upon you, right? But now they're even more dependent upon you. That's the thing. Now they're even more dependent upon you because they're out there. They're going through new supplies. They're talking to new people. They're, you know, anticipating making next moves for new relationships, etc. They're dealing with their family members, their friends, you know, their colleagues, their associates, and they're like... Fuck. Oh shit. None of these people equate to what the chosen one and the empath was. Right? But they made a ridiculous mess out of something that what you, from your side of things, made healthy, made transparent, made authentic, made loving, caring, generous, all from your side, all from your spirit, all from your soul. You were doing that. And they made this, this whole ridiculous situation out on their side of things. And now they're stuck. 
right? With you in their minds. And they can't get you out of their minds. They're wrestling. They got a feeling they cannot shake. You know? They didn't need to make this situation so ridiculous. You know? Now it's harder for them. You know? It's, it's harder for them out there now. It's, it's a struggle. You know? It's a real struggle for them out there. You know, you have to take this into an account. It's a real struggle for them out there. You know? They, they, they made this situation... Um, you know, confusing, a diabolical mess. Um, that's what they've done. And now they've made a whole struggle for themselves out there. They've made them, they've made a difficult path for themselves. And they've made it a difficult path, you know? Because they've burnt bridges. They've made out that you're worthless. They've treated you badly. They've done this and done that. And you remain embedded in their consciousness. And they have this feeling they cannot shake. And they have this remembrance of you. That they just can't get rid of. Right? And no, you got to understand. No matter what person goes into their lives. Today. Tomorrow. Next week. In a month's time, in a year's time, in 10 years time, etc, etc, etc. Right? It really doesn't matter. They're just never going to find someone that matches your value. And they're always going to remember of that situation they fucked up. Of that relationship that they fucked up. Because they know. They know they fucked up. They know they, they acted irrational. They know this, right? They know this in their heart, mind, and soul. They know this, right? So please, chosen ones on the back. Please. Just fucking let them suffer. All right? Don't offer them no support. Don't be their rock. You know, some of you helped them and supported them in their times of need. Help build them up. They want to throw that back in your face. It's okay. Let them do that. Let them do that. It's okay. Because they're going to live with repercussions of their fucking actions. And you will haunt their heart, mind and soul for the rest of their days. They can try and distract themselves. They can try and busy up. But it's very, very rare. You know, it's not hard, you know. You can go out today. You can meet a new narcissist. It's fucking not hard. You know, you can go out today, tomorrow, next week, a year's time from now. You can meet another narcissist if you want to. You know what I'm saying? You can meet another narcissist and be the same old fucking shit all over again. You know? You, they, they're fucking... They're there everywhere, right? You can do that. And that's the same way they can go out there and they can meet these new supplies. That's why you don't need to be jealous or nothing. They're going to run into other narcissists. They're going to run into other toxic individuals. This is what's going to happen to them. They're just going to have a repeat of history. Right? They're just going to have a repeat of history. You know? And they're actually going to run into worse situations than other toxic individuals they've dealt with. Because they've, they've got a history of toxic individuals that they've dealt with already. Before they met the chosen one, the empath. That's how they knew you were so true. All right? That's how they knew you were so true. You know? Let me make a note of that. They knew you were so true because of their past. So, just, just, just leave them. Just leave them. You're going to be embedded in their mind, heart and soul and they won't be able to shake it. There's nothing you need to worry about. There's nothing you need to fret about. There's nothing you need to be anxious about. There's nothing at all. There's nothing at all. You've done your deeds. You've done your good deeds. You, try, you tried on your side of things to cultivate a healthy relationship, build foundations. You know, you tried to support them. You tried to be generous to them. You tried to help them. You've done everything right on your part. The fact of the matter is, 
It was just a fucking manipulating, abusive, dusty, dusty weirdo on the receiving end of that. So they fucking get disorientated. They get confused. They get fucking delusional. They get fucked up in the heads, right? They, 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 they're fucking greedy. They take things for granted. You know, they, they, they start fucking manipulating, doing all these fucking games and shit, right? And now they're going to suffer the consequences because they're going to remember the Chosen One and the Empath that was a beacon of light in their lives. A beacon of light. Never can be forgotten. It's all about impact. That's what they don't understand. It's the impact you made on their fucking cretin, dusty, disgusting soul. Yes, impact can be made. On something so negative. Because you know what? Doesn't matter how dark something is. Right? If there's light there. Which is you. There will be light. You know? There will be some, there will be some source of light. In complete darkness. Right? The worst of the worst. Dusty, dusty weirdos. Complete darkness, black souls, dark. You come along, it's all in the spiritual realm. You come along, you're glowing, you're bright, you're shining bright. You fucking light up a dark room. You could be in a whole room full of dark fucking souls. You'll light that shit up, man. You'll light that shit up. And then that's why they try to run off with your light. This is what else they think. They think they can run off with your light. They think they can run off with your light. You know, that's the mistake. They make. <laughs> uh, trust me. I've had sessions with people concerned. They're like. They're thinking. Oh, maybe this person's going to run off with the light. You know. Maybe for a day or a week. They might have. Some elements of light. Floating around them. Some light particles from you. They'll burn out. They don't know how to produce them. They're fucking disgusting souls. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you don't have to. But if you'd like to contribute or support to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. And before I go, I want to bring something to your attention. I've launched a new community forum on the mem membership website. It's open for everyone to use to build, expand and connect to fellow survivors. I'm looking at the longevity of the forum as I should have uh, opened one when I first launched the membership site. I'm also running one-to-one -one sessions. If you want tailor-made advice and me to shed some light on your issues, you can always reach out to me. The Empath group meeting is coming up on the 28th and there is a new WhatsApp and Telegram group for survivors to stay in touch. Lastly, if you want crisis email support and a plan of action, the links for all I've mentioned in the description box below. So if you'd like to know more about the narcissists don't want you anymore. So what? Welcome to your blessings. Click this video here. I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.